Hi friends, welcome back to ARC Tutorials. This is HTML5 Top 40 Interview Question Answer Series. This is the part 2 of the series. Make sure that you have checked out the first part because there I have covered around 20 questions already. And this is a continuation of it so it will make more sense so that you can also learn and master HTML. Make sure you check it out. The link is in the description box below. Alright, let's continue with the series. How do you create a checkbox in HTML? To create a checkbox, we will have to use input tag and in that we have to mention the type as checkbox. You can see here input type equal to checkbox. On the same note, if you want to create a radio button, you will write type equal to radio. If you want to create an email, you will write type equal to email. If you want to select a range, you will write type equal to range, etc. Like I said, how do you create a radio button in HTML? Now you know the answer. <coughs> we'll give <coughs> we'll give input type equal to radio, and then we will uh, provide an ID and value and so on. <coughs> but the key is that you will use input tag with type equal to radio. How do you create a range slider? Like I said, you will change the type equal to range. These are all pretty related, but you should be aware of all this. Input is a very, very powerful tag for creating forms. So there are different variations. There are different types that you can use with input. Make sure that you go through all of them and keep them handy in your mind. How do you create a canvas in HTML? We will use the canvas tag to create a canvas in HTML. But most of the processing in canvas will happen in JavaScript. Here, if you are applying for a pure UI developer, chances are that you need to also brush up a little bit on JavaScript. But the idea is you will use canvas tag to create a canvas and use the get context, fill style, fill rect rectangle. All of that will be from the JavaScript. How do you create a progress bar in HTML? We'll create a progress bar using the progress tag and you will provide the value that is value equal to 50 and what's the maximum value that is in this case 100. Remember to create a progress bar you will use the progress tag. How do you create an audio player in HTML? You will use the audio tag. Audio tag just like video tag will take source which is nothing but the path of where that mp3 player uh, uh, the audio file is and then you can provide the controls. How do you create a tooltip for elements in HTML? To create a tooltip we will use the title attribute for the HTML element. Now title can be given to any element. It can be to a span, to an input, to a div, section, article, anything. So remember the title attribute is used to add the tooltip functionality. How do you create a responsive image in HTML? To create a responsive image, we will have to set different variations of it. Okay, But usually when you use advanced frameworks, they do it for you. But in HTML5, you can do by providing source set. That means you are telling that image 400.jpg will be used for 400 width. <coughs> image 800 will be used for 800 width. <coughs> image 1200 will be used for 1200 width. <coughs> so these are the different sizes that you will mention, especially when you are working with, with different responsive images. Alternatively, uh, a lot of frameworks provide that IMG uh, responsive images and all that. <coughs> How do you create a hyperlink in HTML? To create a hyperlink, we'll use the anchor tag with href, right? href is nothing but the resource to where to locate that particular link. When it when the link is clicked, where should the link go? How do you create an unordered list? To create an unordered list, you will use the ul tag. If you want to create an ordered list, you'll use ol tag. Any list, ordered or unordered, will have the list items that is li inside it. So in this case we are creating an unordered list ul and we are adding three different list items that's why we have written li tag. How do you create an ordered list opposite of unordered everything will be same except for this. 
instead of UL now you will make it OL which is ordered list UL means unordered list how do you create a definition list in HTML we'll use the DL tag to create a definition list in HTML and we will use the DT tag to specify the terms and we'll use the DD tag to specify the definitions here is an example we'll write the DL which means you're doing a definition list then you give DT that is to specify the terms and then the DD which is to specify the definitions okay so this is how you can create a definition list in HTML <coughs> how do you create a drop-down menu uh, menu is created using the select tag select is nothing but it will create you a drop-down what is a drop-down let's say you want to select a country year etc so you can give those options in a drop-down list those values will come as part of the option inside the select so here you will instead of option one two three you can write countries US India etc <coughs> how do you create an audio player okay I think this is a repeat question but let's go over it audio tag is the one that you will use to create an audio player just like video you will provide the source which is the path of that particular audio file and then provide the controls or not how do you create a form we'll create a form using the form tag and inside that we will have input elements like input type equal to text uh, type equal to email password etc we can also have input type equal to submit which is to use to submit the form the key is to talk about the form tag and then the input elements that comes inside the form how do you create a progress bar progress bar is created using progress uh, tag and then you provide the value and the max value how do you create a meter in HTML to create that you would do use a meter tag and you would specify the value and then you will select the minimum and the maximum range okay so that's the meter element for you for that you will use the meter tag how do you create a data list in HTML we'll use the data list right and is we can use the tag itself the name of the tag is data list and inside that we can give options and that's how you will create a data list in HTML very similar to select if you want to compare but the only difference is instead of select we write the data list <coughs> how do you create a range slider in HTML you will use input type equal to range now here you will specify the minimum and the maximum and the step value of it which is in this case 50 you can see here input type equal to range minimum equal to 0 max equal to 100 and value equal to 50 how do you create a color picker in HTML you will use the input type equal to color to pick the color so that's where you will use the input tag with type equal to color to, to create a color picker in HTML how do you create a date picker in HTML we will use the input type equal to date and then value you provide all right so that's all uh, the 40 top questions that are often asked in interviews on HTML I hope I have covered everything from basic to advanced that are needed uh, especially to work with uh, designing or working with web applications I hope you have enjoyed this two-part series don't forget to check out the next one which is CSS 3 interview question and answer series I'm sure you will learn a lot on that thank you so much for joining keep learning keep growing thank you so much <laughs>